Hello, I am Stan the Atmosphere Collector, and today I'm going to review the Atmosphere card game. So first off, I'm going to take a look at the box. Just like the Harbingers and the CD-ROM, this game has those terrifying gatekeeper eyes on the front, the side, and the other side. And in spooky green text, we have Atmosphere the card game, for 2-6 to six players, age 12 and up and all that other nonsense that's on the side of boxes. And on the back there is lovely artwork of all the realms and a display of the cards, as well as, I'm not reading all of that. Moving on, the inside of the box, there are the rules with an epic gamble to a poster, and then underneath that we have the three dice and the cards themselves. <laughs> set up, you separate the key cards and place them to one side. You deal each player 10 cards each, usually, but I'm playing the short version so that will be 6 cards each. Then each player rolls the number die to is the chosen one. I rolled highest, so that's me. I then roll the colour die, this will be important later. And now it's time to play Atmosphere the Card Game. <laughs> The game itself is relatively simple and plays similar to Whist but with some atmospherish twists. Oh no, now I'm speaking in rhyme. To start this, the, the chosen one goes first and that's me, so I play a card. The card I play is blue referring to Gavorden and its number is 10. The next player then has to place another card of that colour. They play the highest card of that colour, 12. So they win that hand and place it near to them. With more players, the chain of cards would obviously go on, but this is just a two-player demonstration since I can't edit together a three or four-player game. It's just that, that it would take forever to load. <laughs> uh, and since the player two won that round, they go first instead of me. They play a purple 11, uh, but I don't have any purple cards, and this is where the colour die comes into play. If I have a red card, because the colour on the die is red, then I can play it, and no matter its um, number value, I will win the hand. But if I don't have a red card, I have to discard a card and I lose the hand. I do have a red card though, so I win this hand. I now, since I won that hand, I get to go next, and I play green too. This is an ability card. There are five ability cards in each suit. The Soul Ranger allows you to give someone one of your cards, and you randomly pick one of theirs. The black hole means no one can win the hand unless the gatekeeper card is played. More on that later on. Flight allows you to re-roll the colour die. The gate lets you roll the symbol die. Whatever you roll will change what the gate is worth, its number value. And finally, the jewel lets you dice duel whoever wins the round to try and steal the win from them. So I played the Soul Ranger, but I choose not to use its ability, which you can do. And player 2 plays the gatekeeper. Basically, the gatekeeper beats anything, anything, even a black hole. Play continues until both players are out of cards. Then whoever won the most hands takes a key card. Key cards could have anything from one to six keys on them. Whoever has the most cards at the end wins. I won four rounds and player two won two, so I get a key card. I get four keys, not bad. And then each player is dealt another six cards and so on until three key cards have been won. Then, whoever has the most keys is the winner. I love the first five Atmosphere games, which came before this, but this just isn't too great. Sure, I prefer it over Whist, and I like the ability cards, but it's just a bit dull for an Atmosphere game. And, of course, it just removes all the interactivity as well. On the upside though, the art on the cards is really lovely, and though most of it is reused, some of it I had never seen before. Overall, I think it's worth tracking down if you want to finish your atmosphere collection, but if you want a fun, interactive atmosphere game, I would just stick to the board games. Anyway, that's enough of that for one day, I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye!